underway. 13.1 miles lie ahead. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up, bank roll, bank roll, euro, euro, peso. Morning, morning, morning. We are at the Big Half 2022, a tune-up event for the London Marathon, which is in four weeks today. So in four weeks time, October the 2nd, we'll be going over to Greenwich for the London Marathon. But today is the Big Half. It is the reverse route of the first half of the London Marathon. So we're starting at Tower Hill, going all the way to Docklands, all the way back out towards the city again, and then back towards Greenwich. Pacing wise, what are my plans for today? So it's four weeks out. I'm gonna give it a good crack. I'm gonna try my best to stay within 80 minutes. That is my target. If I can get as close to it as possible, if I can race it, if I feel like it's going to plan, I'll stick with it and push on as much as I can towards about 15K. If it goes belly up, then at least try and hold marathon pace and just get to the finish line in one piece. Currently sipping some Morton 320 mix. Had breakfast at 5.30 today, two slices of toast, cup of tea, juice, and a hydration tablet. Got some gels with me at the moment. Racing in Vaporfly, next percent two. Um, weather is, uh, feels a bit, it's a bit cloudy overcast today. A bit humid, I think the humidity is a little bit high which shouldn't be too bad, but get to the start, do the usual routines and get a warm up in. So let's go. That is Tower Bridge. We will be running over that and that is mile seven. Right there. Hi, we've got one of my athletes, Happy. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Happy. I'm I'm crazily doing three three majors within seven weeks, and so this is a bit of a tune-up run. So see how it goes. First 5k. And then we've got Marcus. Everyone knows who Marcus is. How you doing, how man? You, doing? you good? Yeah, I'm good, man. Looking forward to it. So uh, it's gonna run it hard today and see how it goes. Lovely. Good job, man. We are underway. 13.1 miles lie ahead. The elite and behind them 13,000 runners. This just the the main event of a, a real collection of racing over the weekend. We've also got the New Balance uh, Big Relay and the Big Mile later today. Very much the focus on community and diversity here. This trying to attract people who perhaps wouldn't naturally go into running. Big half done. One twenty three twenty eight. That was harder than it needed to be. Felt saturated, but ran as hard as I could without 
emptying the tank. That is not what I want to do because I still need to get up and train tomorrow. Tons of people. The support was incredible. Not gonna lie, that's probably one of the best races I've done in terms of support. So if you was out there, you came and said hello, uh, or you cheered, then shout out to you. You guys are legends. You needed those boosts. You don't realize how much of a boost it actually gives you. So thank you to you. Small. 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 How do you feel about Big Heart? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Big <laughs> I don't like Big Heart. So Sean, what was your experience like of the Big Heart? It went really quick. Yeah. So I saw Wind Smiley, we saw Wayne Farrah, uh, Eileen, Sean McCall. Um, then I saw you, the So, finish the Big Heart. We've just done a little bit of debrief together and She's come up with a couple of conclusions that she wants to run a half marathon. No, that's not true. Yeah, it's true. So watch this space. It's a harder job of spectating, you know, going from point to point. So it's just post race, still in the Bent Village, 123 28, which is about 90 seconds or so from my PB. To do that again in four weeks' time, twice, obviously, I've got to get the pace right more than anything. And yeah, I think it will be a tough one, but hoping to peak in four weeks time. I've got four weeks to go and then it is time for go time. This is the t-shirt designed by the Vertex team. Pretty nice. Nice little medal as well. Looks like a Pac-Man. Just quickly in the comments put down what you think I'll run in London closest person gets a prize don't know, I don't know what the prize will be but something good something good something memorable so put in the comments what you think I'll run for London based off my 123 28 time today over to you So it's the next morning, I've just come back from a run, had some time to reflect on yesterday's big half and whilst it wasn't the, the personal best or the sort of run that I was hoping for, it was essentially the run that I was able to do on that day. I was 100 seconds off my PB from last year which I kind of went off thinking that okay I was close to 80 minutes but as soon as I got to maybe like 5 or 6k I was just like yeah, I'm just not at that same level as maybe what I was last year. Uh, maybe could be because of training could be covid it could be all sorts of things but i'm not going to dwell on it too much i don't think it's necessary i'm just going to do what i can in the next few weeks got two more weeks of relatively hard training and then obviously a couple of weeks of taper and then we're kind of dialing into the race so in terms of goals wise for the race i mean 250 is going to be super super close i don't even know i mean doing the pace that i ran yesterday twice makes me feel a little bit physically sick <laughs> but i do back myself over the longer distance i, I felt i came off yesterday i felt fine no aches or niggles, found ran today, nice sort of 5.15, 5.20 pace per K average, so that wasn't too bad. Just hoping for some better weather on the day because it was pretty, pretty difficult in those conditions. I felt saturated in the fact that just sweating so much and you just maybe need to take on more water. I took on as much as I could, uh, one or two bottles um, at like the four mile and eight mile mark, but generally it was, a, it was a good event. Again, like I said yesterday, for those who sort of came up to me or was sort of said that they watched the previous video or they come up, they love the vlogs and they love the channel and they love like the social stuff. Thank you so much for that. It means a lot in terms of the support that you get from you guys. I love bringing sort of this sort of stuff and just keeping it super real. Yeah, thank you for all that. Thank you for everyone who cheered, cheered. And in terms of the splits wise, it's just a case of, I mean, the first half I, we did in 41.24, and then the second half was 42.04, so a 40 second fade. I got to the eight mile mark, and I just thought I just want to try and push on as much as I can, and um, it might not have felt like it, but I thought I was running fairly, fairly comfortably. I think it was around 6.20s as an average for the race, which was close enough. So even if I go off at 6.30s for the marathon pace, then hopefully it should be okay. 
maybe i don't know we'll see you on the day another week closer to the race three weeks on sunday see what happens you just never know so i want to say thank you for watching thank you for all the support on the channel thank you for coming up to yesterday and if you did share supported shouted grabbed me whatever big thanks to you guys really really appreciate it, it means a lot hope you like this video remember to give it a subscribe down below and i'll catch you in the next video peace out